Coming up halfway through our list, a flyweight fighter with a super heavyweight punch, a ship whose creed was kill or be killed. Fletcher class, destroyer, displacement, standard 2,325 tons, propulsion, two gear turbines producing 60,000 shaft horsepower, range, 6,500 nautical miles at 15 knots, protection, 0.5 inch over vital areas, principal armament, five five inch guns, crew, 329. On Sunday, December 7, 1941, the U.S. Pacific Fleet lay in ruins at Pearl Harbor. America was at war. Immediately, the U.S. war effort sprang into action to build ships to take the fight back to Japan and avenge Pearl Harbor. Eleven shipyards were given the task of building a new class of fast, heavily armed destroyer, and they were to be called the Fletcher class. Soon, these sleek ships were coming off the slipways, and at 376 feet long and nearly 2,900 tons when fully loaded, the Fletchers were significantly larger than any previous American destroyer. The Fletchers were also the first to be fitted with surface and air warning radar. With their 60,000 shaft horsepower engines delivering a speed of over 36 knots, the Fletcher was designed to be an awesome fighting machine. When one Fletcher, the USS Johnston, was commissioned, her captain made a speech to his crew that typified the destroyer man's creed. This is going to be a fighting ship. I intend to go in harm's way, and anyone who doesn't want to go along had better get off right now. By early 1943, the first five Fletcher-class destroyers had arrived in the Pacific. Their task was to target and smash the Japanese supply convoys. Already, the role of the destroyer was changing. Once looked on as a defense for the capital ships, the new Fletchers were now being thrown into the furnace of battle. Bristling with weapons, they were a floating gun platform. Their five five-inch guns could fire a 54-pound projectile 18,000 yards and had a ceiling of over 35,000 feet for anti-aircraft. Their 40 millimeter rate of fire was 160 rounds per minute. And the 20 millimeter a staggering 450 per minute. The Fletchers also had sophisticated sonar that enabled them to hunt down anything that was beneath the surface. Throughout the Pacific War, the Fletcher class destroyers sank 29 Japanese submarines. But it was through attacks from the air that these ships became a legend and earned their nickname the Fighting Fletchers. On October 25, 1944, during the Battle of Leyte Gulf, the Japanese, in desperation to defend their positions, turned their fury into a new form of attack, the Kamikaze. Again, it was the Fletchers that were in the front line of battle. Their mission was clear, target and kill any Kamikaze aircraft that came within the vicinity of an aircraft carrier. In the weeks that followed, the destroyers faced more than 1,500 kamikaze attacks and by war's end had fought in nearly every naval battle. In total, over 1,300 battle stars were awarded to the Fletcher class. By the end of World War II, 175 of these tough destroyers had been built and sent into battle, but at a price, 25 had been lost. So our matrix gives them high marks for firepower and fear factor. Innovation is good as well. Protection and service length is also good. So the fighting Fletchers go into the number five slot in our top 10 fighting ships.